Hello. This is Helen from Stories by AI. Today I found out how Donald Trump was elected. Let's begin. This much we do know, whatever Donald Trump knows about Ukraine, he didn't read it in a book. The Republicans surveyed who say they are following the inquiry very closely or fairly closely are more confident that the hearings are making things easier for Trump 72% than those who are following proceedings somewhat closely or not very closely 46%. Republican Rep. Mike Kelly compared the impeachment to the Japanese attack on Hawaii's Pearl Harbor in 1941, calling the House proceedings another date that will live in infamy, similar to the words Democratic President Franklin Roosevelt used to describe the raid that killed about 2,400 people and led to America's entry into World War II. Article 1, Section 3 of the United States Constitution explicitly says that in terms of political consequences, judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to removal from office, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust or profit under the United States. Officers who are impeached can still be indicted and prosecuted in a court of law. The U.S. has run a budget deficit for nearly three decades, meaning it has spent more than it has taken in. This has increased the role of government in the economy and has meant that spending has continued in good times or bad and under both parties' administrations. By 1948 the protection of segregation led Democrats in the Deep South to reject Truman and run a third-party ticket of Dixiecrats in the 1948 election after 1964, Southern Democrats lost major battles during the civil rights movement federal laws ended segregation and restrictions on black voters. The Republican Party's opponents, the Federalists, referred to Jefferson's faction as the Democratic Republican Party, with the intention of smearing them with the title Democratic, hoping it would remind voters of the rowdy and radical Democrats of the French Revolution. Either way, when thinking about November 2020, we have either barely entered the economic period voters will be using to evaluate the state of the country and Trump's presidency or we aren't even there yet and none of what's happened so far will actually matter by the time people head to the polls. While the intelligence community concluded in 2017 that Russia's efforts during the general election were intended to help Trump defeat Clinton, none of the agencies has ever definitively said whether those efforts actually helped propel Trump to victory. Instead, some Democrats are wringing their hands about their presidential candidate field, encouraging new candidates to jump in. Former President Obama has warned Democrats that they risk losing it all in 2020 if they tack too far to the left, while progressives fear Trump will win if Democrats nominate a safe but uninspiring centrist. Furthermore, claims that Donald Trump somehow benefited from Cambridge Analytica's Facebook advertisements are also inaccurate given that the company most probably deleted the Facebook data before the general election between Trump and Clinton began. Republican Rep. Mike Kelly compared the impeachment to the Japanese attack on Hawaii's Pearl Harbor in 1941, calling the House proceedings another date that will live in infamy, similar to the words Democratic President Franklin Roosevelt used to describe the raid that killed about 2,400 people and led to America's entry into World War II. Nearly 6 in 10 Democrats say it is more important for a Democratic presidential candidate, if elected, to find common ground with Republicans on policies even if that means giving up some things Democrats really want, while 41% say it's more important to push hard for Democratic policies even if it's harder to get things done. In the past few months, feminist activism and commentary have gained enormous visibility, from women's marches around the world to the political journalism of Teen Vogue but feminists have spent much of their energy opposing Trump, after, of course, he won the election in November. This high volume of individual small-dollar donations in Obama-Trump counties and the sticky support it indicates shows that Sanders has strong grassroots support in those places, which makes sense, given that his political message is targeted to people whose lives get harder as elites grow richer. Despite a primary in which Trump bucked Republicans by questioning the party's consensus on free trade and a general election in which he outflanked Clinton on trade by adopting the left's criticisms of agreements such as NAFTA, there appears to be little relationship between voters' skepticism of trade agreements and support for Trump. The feeling thermometer rating for Muslims was distinctly cold among Trump supporters, a chilly 32 degrees among those who voted for him in Republican primaries, compared to 40 among those who voted for other candidates, though note that this other 
Vote includes those who voted for Ted Cruz, who were nearly as cold as Trump supporters about Muslims. The fact that lower-income Republicans, largely known as the basket of deplorables, support more social spending and taxing the rich was a key takeaway from this year's report, says Lee Drutman, senior fellow on the political reform program at New America, a Washington, D.C.-based think tank. That was, after all, the case with Clinton, who stayed busy in his final two years after his Senate trial, signing more than a dozen big laws, including a major banking deregulation plan later blamed for sparking the subprime mortgage financial crisis. Thank you for watching Stories by AI. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.